Hi, my name is Alan Prost and I'm here to introduce you to the HD PFT 4000. This unit is a little bit different than the portable units even though it's operating the same software, okay? Because this one's attached to the body box and it has the capability of doing a nitrogen washout, a DLCO, single bath nitrogen washout, um, and uh, the body box here, the plasmography. So that's the key things about this unit. I'm going to show you how to do a calibration here in just a minute. But just to get you orientated, we've got a basic computer down here, hooked up our pressure transducers and all the key equipment, and our gas analyzers are built right into the unit down here, accessed via the back if we need to. Software is run off the screen. Back here, you can see we've got our uh, gases, oxygen, and our gas mixture for doing our nitrogen washout and DLCO testing. Okay, so the heart of this unit is right here. This is our pneumotac, all right, and so the way this one works is that we have a screen type pneumotac. So you can see that there, there's a little screen inside there and these little holes across here. So what this unit does is it measures the pressures across this screen here and translates those pressures into a flow and if we know the duration of the flow, calculated probably about once every millisecond or so with this device, we can measure the volume. So that's how that works. So this little plastic piece here just fits right inside, and the actual connectors to the pneumotac go down into the computer, and the pressure transducers are down here just housed in this unit right here. Now this white part here you're looking at here is also our gas control unit. All right. So what this does is if you're doing a specialty test, like a nitrogen washout or a DLCO, the patient will actually be breathing through here. This is our regulator. The gas flow, if it's 100% oxygen, or the DLCO mixture comes up through here, and the patient will be breathing through this regulator right here. Now, the way that gas flow is controlled is with a little kind of balloon valve right here. And these can rupture, so these need to be checked fairly often. So if you're trying to do a test and it's not working, it could be because that's ruptured. So we gotta check those every once in a while. So that's housed in this little unit here. All right. So we're gonna show you how to do a calibration of the basic pneumotac here. So let's go get orientated to the software. All right. So we're gonna use the uh, Insight software to do this. All right, so get this going and just fire up here. Now initially it opens up with the patient access screen here. What we need to do is go into the patient information just because we're going to do a calibration. All right. This is what we screen we would use to input new patient data. Go up to tools up here and we're going to calibrate this device. Come down over here. Now, this has actually got a couple of different devices in here. It's got the body box and it's also got the gem software as well. We're just going to work with the body box software this today. Calibration procedure is basically the same. Now, you can see it's got a mouth pressure and a pressure volume uh, calibrations in here, and that's when we're using the um, body box. But today, we're just going to calibrate the pneumotac. So, we'll go on to here. And we're going to, first of all, make sure we got the proper barometric pressure. We'll click on Calibrate. It is 23.7. It's very warm in this room right now. Just hit Enter. The relative humidity is 29%. And we've got a barometric pressure, actually, today of 663. Okay. So it says, Success. We're ready to go. So we continue on now. All right. So now we're going to actually do the pneumotag. We're going to calibrate our pneumotac. So we'll go up here and hit calibrate. All right. Now it shows us one of the older calibrations that's done. And from this, you can see that it's very important to do low, medium, and high flow rate calibrations. All right. So click on calibrate. We're going to do a calibration here. We're going to use our three liter syringe. So we're going to continue on from that. Now, this is going to indicate for us the desired flow. So we're going to perform an inspiratory stroke, and we're going to try to meet that inspiratory flow demand. Okay? So I'm going to just set you over here like that. So you can watch what I'm going to do here. And we'll get a stand. 
standardized three liter syringe. And I find it best to use something like this. We've got a nice solid table to hold the syringe on. And we just hook that right up to our pneumo tap like this. All right. So what we're doing with our calibration procedure is we're going to calibrate it for three different flow rates using a known volume. That's how it's going to establish that the pneumotac is working properly. So it says perform inspiratory stroke. So we're just going to try to meet our lowest inspiratory demands. This is a pretty new syringe here, so it's a little tricky to get that. Now it says perform the expiratory stroke. All right, just going to move the camera a little over like that. Okay, so now I'm going to push there in, just trying to meet in, so it's a little like a video game. All right, so that's our lowest flow there. When it comes back and it shows me green, that means it's measuring three liters at the specific flow rate that I want. If we don't match that flow rate, it'll ignore the procedure. All right, so let's now get it a little bit uh, faster flow rate. Let's set that there so you can see me. All right. So we've met that one on the inspiratory. Now it's looking for the expiratory stroke. So we've met that. That turned green. So, so far, so good. Now we've got to get a high flow rate. All right. I don't think I quite got it fast enough. And now we're going to do the expiratory st stroke. All right. Okay. So this tells me now that I can keep going or I'm finished because we're all in green. It's calibrated properly. So we're actually finished doing our calibration, but now we need to do our verification, all right? So we're finished with that. We've done our calibration. You can see here, everything's in the green, and right now we're actually only got an error of about less than one liter per second. So that meets our ATS criteria. So we're gonna now do a check. Now in the check, it looks very similar. We've got the same syringe, and it's going to tell us now to do a check. Now it makes sure we're checking that. It's a very similar procedure, but now we're checking it instead of calibrating it. So I'll do the same kind of things. Okay, that accepted that. Expiratory stroke. All right, now we're going to do a little bit faster inspiratory stroke. A little bit faster. Expiratory stroke. I don't think I did that one quite fast enough. No need to panic. Just pull it out a little bit. Just follow the instructions. All right. Push it back in now. All right. Pull syringe all the way out and wait for the message to close. Okay. Now perform expiratory stroke. Okay. So what it is right now, it's still having a little problem figuring what I was doing out there. So it tells me perform to pull the syringe all the way out. So just follow the instructions, all right? Now, I'm gonna to try to get it right in that flow range. That's what it's telling me. I'm not meeting my flow requirements, okay? No target hit, so still waiting for me to get this right. There we go, okay. Fifth time lucky. So now we're doing the inspiratory stroke, and remember, we're just verifying at this point. I find the inspiratory ones a little trickier because I, I don't like banging the syringe against the ends. Okay, so we accepted that one. Now, just one last expiratory stroke. Okay, so now what we've done, we've calibrated our pneumotac, we've verified that it's working correctly, so we're, we can close this, all right? And now I'm going to go to report and print out my calibration report. Now, it's important to sign that, make sure we put it in our logbook or our binder to make sure we're meeting our requirements for quality control. We should calibrate this before each day uh, of use and anytime we think there's been a large barometric pressure change or if it hasn't been used regularly. So, there are some other calibrations for the gas analyzers and for the body box, but we're going to do those on a different day. So this is the PDF, um, the HD PFT 4000. Thank you very much.